Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So few days back I have uploaded a video regarding the patent officer job which recruitment has been announced and from today onwards uh, the form filling uh, like has been started. You can fill the form, you can apply for it. So I am going to discuss about step by step process how you can apply it, how you can fill the form so that it becomes clear for you and you don't make mistakes while filling the form right. So this is the official website of uh, Department of Promotion and Industry of industry and internal trade ministry of commerce and industries so this is the website i'll give you link to reach out to this uh, in the description of this video all you have to do is for further information you have to click on this particular link right it will ask that uh, you are about to proceed to external website say yes then you will be taken to this website this is a website uh, from quality council of india okay which is responsible for conducting this exam of patent officer now there are three links first is advertisement second is recruitment notification and the third one is portal link for registration now these two things i have already discussed in the previous video uh, so if you want to apply for it uh, and if you don't know much about it please i'll recommend it to watch i'll give you link in the i button you can watch that video uh, i have summarized everything regarding the recruitment process over there now if you want to apply for it just click on this portal link for registration so once you click on that link you will be taken to this particular page which is again uh, the form like from here the form filling actually starts important dates are mentioned on the same screen that means online application starts from 14 july and it ends on 4th july uh, 4th of august the rest of the dates are also mentioned over here if you have any queries you can contact to this particular email address or you can call at this help desk number right so these are the things which we have already now there are certain more uh, links over here like minimal uh, minimum essential qualification then uh, disability certificate if you want so what is the format for that uh, recruitment notification again and how many vacancies are there so these links are made so, the website is made very uh, user friendly and very uh, in a very concise way so that all the information remains on the same page all right i'll do one thing i'll give you link to reach out to this particular website also in the description of this video right so if you have already registered you can fill the email address date of birth and code and you can start filling it but i will do it from the scratch i will show you how to register it okay so if you are the first one if you are applying for the first time you have to click on this register button so register if you do not have an account so i'll click on this and now the registration page will open where i have to fill my personal details now personal detail includes my name uh, my mother father or spouse full name then email address then confirmational confirm email address means i have to again uh, provide the email address and i have to verify that okay so i have to verify my email address then same thing i have to do with my phone number i have to fill my mobile number i have to ask to send the otp and i have to verify the otp then i have to fill the gender i have to fill the marital status then the category to which i belong in the discipline name that means in which discipline i want to apply for it physically challenged or not ex-serviceman or not and then i have to fill my nationality then my date of birth my Aadhaar or voter id or passport number and then the security code these are the informations which are required to register okay and then i will click on register now so that's how i will get registered into it so i will quickly do that and i will show you what happens in the next step so once you are done with that you have to click on this register now button okay so now it will take a little bit of time and then it will show your basic details like your registration number will be shown over here your user id is your uh, email address itself your name will be here your date of birth is here and your mobile number is here i will suggest you to take a screenshot of it or to keep it with you okay so i'll quickly do that so please save your registration number that will be used for further uh, like further communication and all so now you can press continue if you want to continue filling the form okay so if i press continue now my basic details are already here i have already filled it now let's say that uh, you have you are filling it in one go in that case things are fine once you have done your basic detail the next is your communication detail then educational qualification then experience detail photo signature document upload declaration and that's how it will be done but let's say i want to do it in like let's say i just want to register and i want to fill it later on so for that you just have to log out and again you can log in using your email address state of birth and your uh, captcha code that will be used to log in okay so i'll fill the form further 
So the basic detail will be filled already. Uh, yeah, all the basic details are already here. Uh, you can cross check is it once whether everything mentioned over here is fine or not whether the name and the other things are correct or not then just press save and continue okay so now you will be asked to fill the communication details now you have to fill your address correspondence address then your permanent address then preferred test location over here okay so this preferred test location you can see and many of you are asking that whether it will be there in your city or not so all the city list is over here it was not in the notification but it is over here right so you can select at least two locations are asked to select uh, preferred locations for the examination and then you can save and continue okay so i'll quickly do this and then i will tell you what happens in the next step so once you have filled all your addresses all you have to do is press uh, save and continue okay so click on save and continue now they will ask you to fill your educational qualification now this educational qualification you have to first of all fill minimum essential qualification right that means you have to fill about masters so over here you can see that there are two options if you have selected chemistry then two options will come the minimum qualification is either master's degree in chemistry or bachelor's degree in chemical technology or engineering or equivalent so whatever is uh, like um, applicable in your case you have to select that and then you have to fill the details like it from which institute you have done from which university you have done from which discipline you have done and how much percentage you have got and from which year to which year you have done right and then your basic qualification means your class 10th and class 12th percentages and years okay so that's going to be your educational qualification so i'll quickly do it and then show what happens in the next step. So once you fill your educational qualification now they will be asking about experience detail okay so select the type of employment if you have so now you have two options employee or fresher so if you don't have any experience you can press fresher and in that case you don't have to add anything you can just go ahead and in case if you have uh, experience if you are employed already then you can click on employee and you can fill the work type okay whether you are a per private servant or government cert servant and uh, from which organization you are doing job what is the designation what is the nature of duty uh, what is the date of joining what is the date of leaving all those things you have to mention if you have done multiple jobs you can add more from here and you can keep on adding them right so if you are just msc pass out or if you have just qualified msc in that case you can press on this freshers if you will press fresher it will ask that your calculated experience is year zero month zero are you sure so just say yes okay now is the time when you they will ask you to upload your photograph and signature and then you can go ahead so there are certain points regarding it it says only jpg or jpeg files are allowed to upload photo size should be 5 kb to 50 kb and then your signature should also be in the same range please don't use any special character in the file name while uploading the photo or signature only one file at a time will be uploaded after browsing document click on the upload document button and then it will get uploaded okay please note that only appropriately submitted and professional photo and document upload will be considered for the registration process failure to provide suitable material may result in inability to download the admit card so make sure that you are uploading a correct photo a proper photo basically they have not mentioned any guideline for that but just a type of photo which you apply for any uh, official form filling right so you can send the same uh, photograph and signature which you apply for csr net or gate form filling all right so after successfully uploading your photograph remember that after browsing you have to click upload photo then only your photo will get uploaded and same goes for the signature okay so make sure that after you upload your photograph you click on these buttons unless and until you get a green tick over here you cannot save and continue to the next step okay so make sure that you are clicking on this and then only you can save and continue to the next step now the next step includes uh, all the uh, certificates okay so you have to upload first of all your uh, matriculation certificate means your uh, uh, like class 10th certificate then you have to upload your Aadhaar card or voter id card whatever you have applied over there that you have to upload then your degree certificate that means your master certificate if you have applied masters and all and if there is any other certificate which is relevant that means uh, if you have applied for under an, any category then that category certificate will be asked so you have to upload all the documents over here 
Now remember that only JPEG or JPG and PDF files are allowed to upload and document size must be less than 500 KB. Only one file upload at a time will happen and after browsing document click on upload document button then only that doc document is going to get uploaded. Okay. So I hope this is clear. I will upload the documents and then show you what happens in the next step. Okay, so once you are done with all the upload of all the documents, all you have to do is you have to again save and continue for the last step which is declaration. Now here it says that I hereby declare that all the information entered in this application is true, complete and correct to the best of my knowledge. So you can read this declaration. Uh, you have to just click over here and you have to process to payment. Now it says that you will be charged an amount of 1000 uh, registration fees plus transaction charges as applicable for this transaction. Now this depends upon under what category you are filling right. Uh, if you are if you are a female candidate you might be charged 500 rupees. If you belong to uh, SC or ST category or PWD category in that case also you will be charged uh, rupees 500 right for this. And for general category uh, boys and for male candidates this is general and OBC category male candidate this is the charge which you have to pay uh, for the form right. So just press ok and then you will be taken to the build desk uh, page I guess uh, yeah so here you will be taken to the payment gateway all you have to do is you have to choose that which payment mode you want to apply and uh, that is how the form is going to be filled. So this is the whole process of form filling. I will quickly do the payment and then I will show you that how you can uh, proceed. So once your payment is done you will see this message that your transaction is successful. Now they will ask you to continue. So this is how your application process will be done. Now it says that your application is successfully completed. You have filled the form all done right. You can verify your uh, details over here. All the information is here that which post you, are, you have applied for which discipline you have selected, what are your personal information, your correspondence address, then your uh, uh, your permanent address, then your qualifications, all the details are over here on the screen. You can check them out once again if you want to and that is all, that is how the form will be filled. I hope you have understood this clearly and I hope there is no doubt in your mind regarding the form filling. If there is any question if you, if you want to ask. You can ask in the comment section below. I will try to answer you over there itself. All right. So that is it from my side for this particular video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care. Hello, everyone. So, Unacademy has bought a very good opportunity to get the subscription of Unacademy Plus program for 6 months and 12 months at a discounted price of 20%. Now all you have to do is you have to take an academy plus subscription using my referral code that is n underscore huda. Remember that this offer is only valid till 15th of July and the, uh, the subscription amount is going to come somewhere around 15,400 for 12 month subscription whereas for 6 month subscription it will be 10,667 rupees. So if you are interested to take an academy plus subscription do make sure that you use my referral code while taking the subscription and let's crack it.